You know that I always want to give you new perspectives about the Beatles. Stuff that you can say, wow, I can use this one right now for my cover. I can even use this one for my original music. So today we will not go through a harmony. We will not go through an instrumental part. For the first time today, I will guide you through all the nuances, all the vocal shades that John Lennon used to sing one of his most amazing vocal performances. The one that he sang in You've Got to Hide Your Love Away. For those of you who want to imitate the closest possible John vocals. Feeling too full. Foot small, feeling two foot small. We will learn how John recreates his amazing vocal groove and how he morphs his mouth and where he places his voice in his throat to model his sound according to the intensity and vocal color that he wants to deliver in each specific part of the song. Look, we are talking about music here. This is a real music lesson. We are not talking about tabs. We are not talking about notation here. We are talking about the motion. The real core of music is emotion. And this is what this video is about. Grabbing everything we can from the Beatles to deliver the maximum emotion possible in our personal covers. From You've Got to Hide Your Love Away, John was probably inspired by Bob Dylan. So he approached the composing of You've Got to Hide Your Love Away more in a singer songwriting uh, way rather than in a usual pop uh, rock style. So singing this song for him was more about delivering the hidden feelings contained in the lyrics. And this is uh, where an artist delivers his greatness in the way this performance is strictly linked to the meaning of the lyrics that he's delivering and also the tone is set out accordingly. Now there's something very special on how John crafted the lyrics of Your God Hide Your Way that I absolutely want you to focus on. The difference in intensity that he uses in the different parts of the song follows the lyrics not only um, on the meaning but also on the perspectives of the subject who is singing. In the first verse he's talking to himself and the tone is very subdued and in intimate. So he's basically talking inside himself. But in the second verse, where the intensity grows, he's turning off to the world. Everywhere, people there, each and every day, he's describing things that happens around. It's no longer an internal dialogue. And in the refrain, he's putting even more emphasis, he's using a even more powerful and harsh, uh, sort of harsh tone in the vocals, because is describing people discriminating him. Hey, you've got to hide your love away. These are other people talking to him. Hey, you've got to hide your love away. This performance is strictly linked to the meaning of the lyrics that he's delivering and also the tone is set out accordingly. Now let's start with the lesson. The very first thing, the most important one that we have to consider while approaching the singing of Yukata Hide Your Love Away in the way that John did are the dynamics that he used to give each single part of the structure of the song a different intensity. Different intensity always catches your attention. So how does this translate in practical terms into the uh, performance that John did? Exactly what he does is starting with a soft voice intensity let's give a number to the intensity four in the first verse here i stand head in hand turn my face to the wall and then second verse higher intensity everywhere people stare each and every day and then grows in intensity again hey you've got to hide your then, after the refrain, how can I even try? So, back from 9 to intensity, 4 again. Here I stand, head in hand, everywhere people stare. Hey, you 
You've got to hide your love away. How can I even try? This is very important. If you commit, if you concentrate to recreate these different levels of intensity in your performance, you capture your audience. By stop drinking, I look at you. I start listening at you and say, who is this girl? Who is this boy singing there? Very interesting one. Pay care to the dynamics here. Even if a single phrase is in the, in the single sentences. Hearing them sing them. Hearing them sing them. Okay. Sing them. Very important. First thing, dynamics. Another very important aspect of John's performance is the consistency of the sound of his vocals. A great part of consistency, of evenness of the sound of the vocal color is achieved by keeping the mouth open the same way throughout all the vowels of the same part of the lyrics. Here stand hand hand, turn my face to the wall. Here I stand head in hand, turn my face to the wall. When you increase the intensity in the second verse, you do the same thing on a different level. Everywhere people stare. Everywhere people stare. I recommend the mouth open the same way throughout the whole sentence. One of the most common mistakes that I hear in the Beatles covers is the people singing, hurrying up on the tempo. Don't sing with urgency, this creates anxiety. Sing laid back on the tempo. Here I stand, head in hand, turn my face to the wall. You see, but I'm just a little bit after the beat. Everywhere people stare. Hear how laid back this is on the tempo. Everywhere people stare, it shine every day. Feeling two foot small. Feeling two foot small. He relays back the foot small. And this creates a very relaxed mood. If you're singing in front of the tempo, try to sing on the tempo and then try to lay back on the tempo because this creates a sense of involvement. You are involved in the performance, you're captured by the performance. For those of you who want to imitate the closest possible John vocals. Feeling two foot small. Feeling two foot small. I'm now going to guide you through how John morphs his mouth and how he places his voice into the throat to recreate the different vocal colors that he uses during his performances. I will give you a few hints on the sound colors and how to rehearse them. So here's the first verse again. Here I stand head in hand. The whole first verse is performed with a lot of air and a few sound. So very soft. And the place in your throat where you have to concentrate your voice is back there in the upper palate, uh, back palate. So here I stand head in hand. Turn my face to the wall. Try this. Here, here. Then you open your throat a little bit. Here. And increase just the volume a little bit. Here I stand. And then train yourself to give the exact same voice color to the, all the vowels. Here I stand. Hand, hand. Here I stand. Head in hand. Turn my face to the wall. Keep the sound warm and then feeling two foot small. The voice cracks. Oh. Now when he comes to the second verse. Everywhere people stare. The voice goes a little more into the front. Everywhere. So imagine there is a way from your rear palate to the uh, uh, front palate toward your nose here and place your voice there and open your throat at the same time. Rehearse with this. Uh, try this sound to have a better idea of where the vocal is going and have a better consciousness of where your voice is, is going, okay? So, everywhere people stare, 
It shine every day And I hear them say And the and I hear them say is all back there as well And I hear them say Fades out hey. Now to the refrain The refrain is the most difficult part under a vocal technique point of view Hey, you've got to hide your love the first thing is the A, hey. and the A hey is just a hey, just like if you want to address somebody on the screen. Hey, this way, listen. Hey, you've got hey, you. The next thing that it does is uh, coming back with a decreasing intensity. So, hey, and then getting into the hey, hey, this voice here. Hey, you've got to. This voice is back, very in the throat. It's that gritty sound. Hey, you got the high. For the rest, you use the same intensity, the same voice position of the second verse. Hide your love away. And the way at the Lennon, the typical Lennon trademark sound. Oh, love away. Love away. This one is done by opening the, 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 the throat a lot and placing the sound into the nose and then open your throat and then find the right balance between the two sounds love away and then you decrease in intensity just exactly like him oh, love away. Oh, love away. so these are the three main tones vocal colors vocal tones that john uses and how to recreate them Practice them, video yourself so you can re-listen and then put the link of your exercise in the comments below so I will give you some, a few hints, I will reply to the comments. Now we will go through how John created his amazing vocal groove in the song. It gave this incredible emotion to his performance by perfectly fitting his vocal performance in the three quarter waltz tempo of the song. John did this by making a very clever use of uh, alternating, insisting on the non sounding consonants and then singing on the sounding vowels. Of course, it was totally instinctive for John, but for us common mortals, we have to take care of a few nuances to create the same emotion, the same excitement. So let me show you this in details. Let's start with the first verse. Here I stand, head in hand. You heard how he insists on the N. Here I stand, head in hand. And Na, na, na. He immediately gets into the three quarter words, which is a very involving uh, kind of rhythm. And then, if she's gone, I can't go on. Again, the same thing happens here. John is insisting on the F and the N. If she's gone, I can go on. Notice how everybody sings this very straight. Uh, if she's gone, I can go on. But it's different than singing. If she's gone, I can go on. Feeling two foot small. Feeling two foot small. This grabs you. This takes in, you into the dance and dances with you. Everywhere people stare. Again, he takes advantage of the V, non-sounding V, to create the waltz rhythm. Everywhere people stare. Now John is entering into the chorus, the refrain. And I would like you to um, notice how he creates a rhythm, hiding into the first seconds of the chorus, which nobody notices because everyone sings, Hey, you've got to... Hey, let's make a beer. No, it's not like this. He sings this one in a rhythmical way. This is how it sounds lower. Hey! Got a, hey, you've got to. But it's rhythm again, hidden inside here. Hey, you've got to hide all of the way. So the three quarter was tempo is uh, one of the most involving ever, and John takes advantage of it perfectly by insisting on the non-sounding consonants, alternating them to the sounding vowels. And this is something we have to take in very serious consideration if you want to perform a very felt and emotional cover of the song. Let's go through the next tip.
especially from non-native English speakers as I am, but English people may find this interesting too. I'm gonna guide you now through how John pronounces some of the words in the lyrics in a way that contributes to make the overall sound of his vocal performance more appealing. Here I stand. So the very first thing here, the here. There's no R, so especially you American friends, disregard this R. Here I stand, very light R in every Beatles song. Most of the time there's no R at all because the British people don't pronounce the R. Here I stand, head in hand. And then, here I stand is not I. You will see that almost everywhere in Hide All Over Way, when John sings a, a word with I, it doesn't pronounce the E, it just pronounces the R. Here I stand, head in hand. We also notice that John is pronouncing the head word kind of a, in a warmer sound. Here I stand with head in hand. So it creates a alternation of sound with the stand and hand, and this creates tension. Here I stand, head in hand. Turn my face. Again, my face becomes my face. If she's gone, I can. If she's gone, I can go on. I can see. I again becomes I. I can see them left. And I hear them say. And I hear them say. Glissato, vibrato, and I without I. And then. Hey, you've got to hide your love away. Got to. Hey, you've got to. T is not got to, it's got to, it's almost non pronounced, it's cut out. Hey, you've got to hide your. And the got to hide is very pronounced. Got to hide your love away. The D of the hide uh, word is very rounded. I can never win. I can never win, not I can never win. How could she? How could she? It's not cool, because cool is another hard sound. How could... No. Another curious pronunciation that John makes in the lyrics of You've Got Hide All Of The Way is the way that he pronounces the gather round all you clown. He pronounces this as like gather. Gather round all you clowns. Gather round all you clowns. So these are the main stuff you have to take care about about the pronunciation. This will help you a lot giving your sound, your vocal sound more consistency and evenness. But now you got everything you needed to practice. So thanks for staying with me for this video. It's the first one about the lead vocals. Try a vocal cover based on what I showed you. And let me have the link of the comments below here so we can discuss that. I will analyze them uh, for you. So see you next time with a new video. I don't know what it will be about. Most probably some sort of get back uh, movie reaction. I'm studying something like this. But see you next time anyway. Thanks for staying with me. Hope you like this one. Send me your comments. And bye bye. Ciao.